we just came back with uh, about 100 pounds of jewelry, maybe a little bit more. We're looking primarily for vintage jewelry uh, because I collect it and I sell the vintage jewelry. These are all absolutely filled with things, interesting pieces, bracelets, necklaces, um, pins, earrings. And I pull out the jewelry that I'm going to keep and jewelry that I'm going to sell as it is. And the other jewelry I'm going to put into lots. Uh, I'm going to fill boxes and probably post them online. Uh, and then I also make up a group where the jewelry is perfect and I sell that as one lot by itself, but I display that. Uh, so I guess let's uh, grab a few bags and start separating the stuff out. That sounds good. Yeehaw. All right. Go. We started going through the bags and these are some of the pieces that I've come across so far. Now, there were pieces that were just plastic or missing stones. These other pieces I'm hoping to either resell at a flea market or sell online. Um, some of the pieces that we found were within these bags. This nice Native American sterling, either turquoise or glass bolo tie. We found some Bakelite, a nice fake Ro Rolex watch, a lot of Alex and Ani, some pieces of sterling with hematite, um, Monet, uh, a nice in carved uh, or intaglio glass bracelet. We found so I guess it's time to try another bag. Yeah, it must be about 10 bags there here. <laughs> okay, so here I go, opening up another bag. This one looks kind of good. It has a, oh, it has a lot. I ha oh. oh, wow, that looks really nice. It's up later, but it has the, the nice fob with it. So it's probably gold filled, but Jasper, but still the cat approves, so it must be a good find then. Because it's he... interesting that I saw him trying to grab. Is is that what happens when you go to like flea markets? People try to grab. That is what happens. Stuff? So, that... the, so the cat is just like everybody else when you're looking for stuff. He's um, trying to to take it. From well, you. <laughs> no, because he gives me a kiss afterwards. Not everybody just gives me a kiss. Nobody yeah. gives me a kiss afterwards. <laughs> You know, it's funny, if you said take your paws off this to the cat, it would actually kind of make sense. <laughs> uh, okay, so I don't even know what this is, really. So this is going to go. Then I have a kind of a recycle pile, because I don't think anybody wants that. But I'm really kind of excited about this. Why don't you hold that closer up? So, uh, hold on. I mean, what's nice is that it has the, uh, you know, the, hold it right there. the fob with it. Okay, good. Um, closer? You know, I mean, you may come across like one really nice thing. Um, so I guess it's really important, depending on what your goal is, to you get the stuff really inexpensively um, if you're looking for his valuable pieces. Since that's, they're harder to find in a bag. That's true. Um, the thing that's, um, yeah, that's what I try to do. Now, this is like White House Black Market, which is a really good uh, uh, store but it's missing some stones. So again, that's going to go into jewelry by the pound. I mean, if somebody wants to fix it, it's going to make a nice bracelet. Um, if you find, if you happen to get one nice piece though, and you, and you pay a, a fair amount for the bag, I mean, something you're comfortable with, um, then you've already made your money back and the rest of it is just sort of Profit. But, being, but being realistic, you shouldn't be spending, I guess, a lot of money hoping to find like a gold all in there because that's right. not realistic. That's right. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you get lucky, but that's not the norm. Right. And right. How do you, t if you see a piece in a bag that looks like gold, 
I mean, how do you know if it's gold or not, or, or can you not tell when you're out in the field? I guess I've just been around it for we found some, some sterling silver pieces of jewelry. This one's designer signed. This one's from, looks like it has a, a lion passant mark. Looks like it has a lion passant mark um, from Great Britain. Um, we found a Hamilton watch. Uh, we found, I've already started taking out the um, some 14 karat gold. We found a necklace, um, Egyptian hieroglyph cufflink, and I was hoping these were diamonds. They're not, but strangely enough, they put it into an 18 karat gold base. We found some Fendi earrings. Um, this is a nice 10 karat gold Victorian um, thimble. Thimble, thank you. <laughs> I found some pieces that uh, are really nice and they're sterling, but they don't have matches. Some pieces that are not signed, but have a really great look to them. Here's a nice um, Mimi Dian piece. She was a designer that was very popular in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Has just a really great dimensional look to it. A lot of Alex and Ani, another Alex and Ani. Um, this nice little cameo, I have to test to see whether the necklace is gold or not, maybe it is. Um, and then just other bits and pieces. Bakelite, I found a, um, there's a there's a Tiffany and Company charm in here somewhere too. I don't know where it is, but um, let me just move this aside. Oh, here it is. This is nice. Uh, an older Sterling Tiffany and Company returned to Tiffany. And, oh, and there were some pennies in <laughs> pennies in here too. A lot of Alex Anything to cut down on the cost of the purchase? This looks like a lot of jewelry all in one place. Do you usually find this much in one place when you buy it? Um, no. I, this is how I prefer to buy, but I um, don't usually get this much. Push this aside. Which is why I was thrilled to come across this. And sometimes I find really nice things, you know, as I pulled out from over here. And sometimes not um, not as great, just kind of more sort of common uh, pieces. And then what I do is, um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to sell online. So something like this, I'm going to make a collection, uh, display it really nicely, and uh, set it up. And um, pieces that aren't the same sort of caliber um, like this is cute, but it's plastic. So this is going to go into, I mean, I don't like to say a, a junk lot because it's, I mean, all of these pieces are really nice. They're nice, they're artistic. Seems to be something for everyone, whether you're looking for fine jewelry, costume jewelry, pieces for arts and crafts, or just there is. expensive jewelry to give as gifts or even put in a store. There is. See, that just kind of like has a look to it. It's not missing any... Um, it's not missing any uh, oh, gold wash on it. So this is going to go into where I'm going to make a, uh, a collection and sell it as such. I love coming across these because you know you never know what's inside of them. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Let's see what's in here. Maybe there's money, more pennies. <laughs> no, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually, oh, it's actually Coldwater Creek. Okay, so that's kind of cool. That's the only thing. Cold water creek. <laughs> cold water crone has earrings too. Earrings that match. That's actually a nice set. Um, and Jasper's very interesting. Jasper approves of this one. Um, cold water creek is a store catalog, and they just sell very nice sort of modern day things. It's not enough for me to sell it by itself. So again, it's going to go into that nice lot that I'm going to display as opposed to just putting it into a box. Um, so these things are just going to go into When, when you go ahead and 
purchase these lots, is there anything you're looking for in these bags or are you just buying it all outright? Um, I'm looking for mostly, I myself, I'm looking for mostly older pieces of jewelry. So that has a really pretty look to it. That's newer, but it has a look. Um, Alex and Ani, again, there are a lot of these. It's an NFL bracelet. Let's go into a regular box. Um, you ever find diamonds or any precious stones or not really? Uh, I do. I actually, I have found a, uh, um, this is broken, so this is going to go into a, a, bo a lot box. It's a shame. It's a really nice bracelet. This is definitely something I would have put into a collect. Okay, here's another bag out of the group. So like this is really cute, but it's missing um, some stones. So again, jewelry by the pounds. That's really cute. Looks like a bottle opener. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, it's a bottle opener. Da -da. <laughs> You know, when you come across really cute, whimsical things. You a little fox. Again, parts box, but he's really cute for the parts box. You were going to put the fox in the box? <laughs> I was going to put the fox in a box. <laughs> this um, has a really nice look to it. kind of has like that uh, Chanel look going on. It's not Chanel, but it has the look. So unfortunately, though, it's missing a uh, one of the little cabochons. So it's going to, going to go into the parts box. How easy is it for people to fix this? Um, Maybe that's what they do. I guess it. I think it's pretty easy to fix because um, you know, with all the stores that are around now that sell pieces and parts, you know, Michael's Crafts and stuff. I think that it should be really easy to fix. So, you know, this looks like real turquoise, but it isn't. It's faux turquoise. Um, but it still has a cute look, and everything is How here. How do you know it's faux? Because you can just tell from looking at it, those are all, you know, man-made. It's not even etched. It's just um, sort of stamped on, but it has a nice look. Oh, hello, Charlie. Charlie's coming to inspect everything also. The inspector. <laughs> inspector. See, that just kind of has a really cool look. Unfortunately, the, um, the color has turned. So that goes into the parts. So it looks like we've gone through about a hundred plus pounds of jewelry, separated into various boxes, and we've got some of the stuff here that's been pulled out. This is what we came up with. We separated it by parts, just parts that we're going to break down into further lots to sell. Came up with that's these, and we put them into priority mailbox lots which, which like are that. For the parts? These are the parts. Okay. And they go into the priority mail mailboxes. Okay. Boxes. So you're going to sell like large pound lots. Oh yes, that's very heavy. Okay. And then um, there's this, which is nothing is broken, nothing's missing. Um, it's vintage. It's just some really interesting looking uh, jewelry. You know, nice nice pieces. Just just not old enough. Um, for for me, okay. but, but really nice things. Then these pieces we pulled out. Um, now, as you mentioned, we spent three hundred dollars on this, but $300 there's three hundred dollars for all this jewelry. I don't know. Is that a, <laughs> I don't know, is that a good thing? Or I'm not really sure which. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that sounds good. I mean, that's like really cheap. It seems. For all that's what I was thinking. But on top of that, this over here is worth more um, in gold scrap. 
than $300. So, so you found gold in there. Oh yes. So we made our money. This is a 14, a heavy 14K bracelet, our necklace, um, a ring. So you're telling me you made all your investment back just with this alone? Yes. Wow. And everything else is then just, what, what, what do they say? Gravy. Everything else is gravy. Gravy. All right. <laughs> um, as long as you like gravy. <laughs> This is um, 18 karat gold. Um, there's just one, but there uh, it's a cufflink with hier hieroglyphics. Um, then this is you come across a lot of these, um, which is good to check. It's the this part is um, marked 14k, but so you would assume that that's a diamond, but it isn't. So they put a lot of cubics into 14k settings. So it's important to check. Um, then over here, this is gold filled, sterling silver, gold filled, more sterling kind of scrap pieces. So that I'm going to sell separately. And then what I have over here are the pieces that I'm going to sell individually online. So these are vintage Fendi earrings. Um, this actually is, um, I think it's um, India from India it's 10 karat gold with real pearls really pretty uh, hairpin um, little gold filled cameo sterling pearl earrings again what I showed earlier the um, watch chain and fob and the watch uh, some more sterling more sterling Bakelite more sterling garnets Native American um, designer, designer, hematite, and sterling. Um, so that's basically it. I mean, it was great. It was so much fun. It took hours, but I mean, I could just have kept going and going. Oh, and these are from, these are from there too. <laughs> All right, well, good. All right. So thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully, oh, and also this Hamilton watch. <laughs> Um, so hopefully we'll keep posting as we come across more and more. We should be getting more within the next few weeks. And um, thanks for watching. If you like, then um, start to uh, subscribe to us or give us a thumbs up. Okay. And uh, thanks. So long.